Hey everybody, Ripe Polo Tech here. Today I'm gonna do a video on how to install the Zeppel Pulse Expandable Bottle Case Universal Mounting System. So what this is gonna do is it's going to give you the option of putting a bunch of different kinds of water bottles in there. I've got three here that I'm going to test out. One's a kind of a universal water bottle for bikes. Other one's just a regular disposable bottle. And then here's a Gatorade bottle, a 20 ounce Gatorade bottle. So I'm gonna show all three of these uh, with youths on that. And also the other really cool thing about this one is it doesn't require any bolts or any special uh, brackets for your bike. You literally just take it off and then you put these Velcro straps on. So I'm gonna go ahead and just install it right down here on this bike. This is my son's bike. Uh, it's a 20 inch wheel. So, all right, let's go ahead and get down to it. All right, so the first thing I want to do is take my snippers here and cut the three zip ties that hold it on. And then there's one right here as well. So you wanna make sure that you don't cut this rubber strap here. You're cutting just the zip tie because that rubber strap is actually used to lock in the adjustable. So anyways, I wanna show that to you first of all. You take this little rubber strap right here and you slide it back on this and then you can unhook it like that and make it smaller. If you wanna make it smaller, if you have a smaller water bottle similar to like this type of water, that's even a little bit too small, but you can make it a lot smaller. So say you wanted this one here, that would be a much closer size to this water bottle, but it's yet, it's a little too small for this one. Let's see about the, the Gatorade. Yep, too small for that one as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it on this one for now and we'll, we'll do it for this disposable water bottle here. But anyways, once you hook it through here like this, then you take your the rubber strap that you slid up and you slide it back down over top to keep it locked in place here. Slide it almost all the way back up here. Actually, you can slide it all the way up to the top there to where it kind of locks into the ridge right here. There you go. So now it can't slide back out or it can't pop off. So then the next thing you do is undo your Velcros straps now if you had a taller bike here you could mount it here if you wanted to but this is only if you had a more space in here with a taller bike um, the other option is to mount it here which is where I'm going to mount it and then some people will even mount them in this area as well but for this example Make sure that your bottom of your water bottle is here because it's going to tilt this direction. So you wanna put that at the bottom, that little hook down there. And then you just take this here, this rubber, and just kind of spread it out. As much as you can around it. Hook the Velcro around. Stick it back through the loop that you came out of. Over here and pull it tight all the way back around. So there you go. Now do the same thing on the bottom. Come around, come through the loop here, pull it tight, and all the way back around like that. All right, so now it's locked in there pretty good. So now I wanna put it through its paces a little bit to see how it's gonna do. It's gonna flop out of there, it's gonna fall out of there.
on this one, if you're going to, if you're gonna really do some major bumps on it or do some fancy tricks on it, or in that case, you know, what do they call it, bunny hop or whatever, then yeah, it's gonna fly out. It's not gonna hold it in that securely unless I really crank down that strap. But if I really crank down that strap, then you're not gonna be able to take it out while you're riding one-handed. So, so, so far on this one, I would say it, it does okay if you're just doing a normal ride. If you're doing anything super fancy or a lot of impact, it may pop out. All right, so the next one that I'm gonna try is gonna be this one. I'm gonna need to adjust this. So I'm gonna slide this, this rubber kind of bar back here and I'm gonna loosen it back to the bigger, wider position here, all right? And then I put the, the rubber stop back in. Go ahead and slide this down in there. All right, so as you can see, I can't get it in that wedged right there, so I'm going to have to go ahead and actually slide the whole thing down. Which means I'm gonna loosen this just a little bit. Not all the way, but loosen it enough to where I can just slide the whole thing down further towards the bottom down here, and then I'm gonna tighten it back up. Now that I've got it down lower, it gives me more room to get this in and out. So I can go ahead and put that in there. Now I'm gonna take it for a ride as well, kind of show you. actually seems to be holding a little better in there than the water bottle was or than the disposable water bottle was so I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with that so yeah all right well let's try it with the Gatorade bottle now Gatorade bottle is a very similar diameter to that red one that I just had in there. Well, I'm convinced that it holds those pretty well. All right, so I'm gonna give you my final opinion on this um, water bottle holder. So let me start out with some of the pros. I'm gonna give you my pros and cons. So the pros are it's adjustable, uh, so it holds a bunch of different kinds of water bottle types and or store-bought water, you know, like Gatorades and uh, disposable waters and things like that. Um, of different shapes. Powerades have a different shape model than Gatorades even, so it, you can adjust it, so that's one positive. Another positive is it's really easy to install uh, with those Velcro strips uh, onto pretty much any bike. Um, now, the negatives that I feel are <sighs> you have to find that delicate balance between how much stability you want in the water bottle, um, movement around, being able to get it in and out of the holder while you're riding versus do you wanna just crank that thing down there so where it's really, really sturdy and solid in there and not gonna come out no matter what happens or bumps you hit or what. 
Um, so you have to find that happy median of how tight you want to make it to your bottle. Because you make it too tight, it's too hard to get it in and out. You make it too loose, it falls out or it can bounce out. So you have to find that happy median and adjust it sometimes depending on the water bottle. Uh, another negative that I'm concerned about is that eventually I feel like those Velcro straps that hold the water bottle cage to the bike, I feel like eventually those are going to wear out. It may be a couple of years. It may be a bunch of years. I don't know for sure, but I feel like eventually that Velcro is going to wear out. Uh, it's going to be dry rotted or or something along those lines so um, at that point you would probably have to use like those screw down hose clamps or zip ties or something to hold that cage onto a bike which means you can't take it off as easily but you still could probably use it with those with those options so uh, those are my final thoughts on it guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like that video for me also uh, hit that subscribe button for me and also hit that little notification icon. Therefore, you get notifications as soon as I put out new videos. I really appreciate it, guys. I'll see you next time and have fun out there. Bye.